can't you do better? Okay. Again. I'm not going to leave this lady behind with you. You get lost, asshole! Is that clear? You think you can fight? I'll teach you a lesson and I don't even need this. Even for Lucifer. Okay, that's great. Look this way. Hold it right there. Okay. Everyone ready? Eileen, Robert, I'm sure that you two will have a very happy life together. <laughs> Marriages are made in heaven. Eileen changed her direction in life just for you, Robert. I know she's given up a lot for me. You know, Peter, I love your sister even more than I love myself. <laughs> when will you be back, Auntie? In only five days. <laughs> I can hardly wait. Well, that's a good guy. Hey, a five-day honeymoon is short but sweet, that's huh? That's right. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Who are they? Why do they want to kill you? They're devil's disciples. Devil's disciples? <laughs> you don't believe me. Yeah, yeah, I do. Tell me, why are they after you? It's a long story. I'm a nun, actually. But my partner and I are working undercover against Lucifer. But she, I mean my partner Eileen, gave up in the middle of it all. It led to my identity being exposed. That's still not enough of an excuse for them to kill you. They want to sacrifice me to Lucifer. Oh, that's terrible. Hmm. I suggest you'd better leave here and go as far away as possible. Huh? I can't. I've got to stay around because Eileen's also their target. So? Tell her to leave with you. She won't go. She just got married. She wants to settle down and stay here, and she doesn't want her husband to know about it. Okay, then. Tell me where the lunatics are. I'll go and finish them off. No, violence against violence is not a good resolution. All right. I'm out of it altogether. Don't think that I'm just a three-year-old, and I believe in fairy tales like this. Anyhow, I've got to prepare for the kickboxing tournament. And I've got no time to fool around with you, young lady. Robert, darling. Mm -hmm. I'm sure my decision to give up the calling and be with you is right. I've never been happier. I'm so glad. I'm sure, too.
Robert, wake up. I hear a strange sound. What? Listen, there. I don't hear a sound. brought your wedding photos. Oh, thank you. I uh, thought you might like to check them all. Why didn't you just send them by mail? Well, I uh, just... Uh... Let's see. They're all here, please. Have a look, as you wish. Hmm. What happened? Your camera is no good. What's that? Well, I don't really know. I want an explanation. How could every photo come out like that? Uh, I'm not sure myself, really. The film was fresh, and we developed it carefully. Actually, we were surprised as well. Give me the negatives. Sure. You say the film was brand new. What's wrong with you? Why are they all smeared then? Uh, I'm sorry. I'll have to look into it further. And what about us? That's all we've got to remember our wedding with. Oh, I'm so sorry. So strange. The face in each picture is... is the same. They spoilt the negatives, that's all. Looks like your deceased wife. Huh? Don't be silly. It was just some mistake. Something wrong with the developing process. They used the wrong setting.
I was bothered by the ticking sound. So I stopped the pendulum and I was going. That clock hasn't worked in over five years. I think you must be tired. Now, you come back to bed and sleep. Come on. Bring back the girl. What do you have for me now? Why, you wimps have let me down. One of you has to be punished. He's the one who fucked up. He should be punished. Bullshit, you liar. Don't believe in my master. You son of a bitch. I'm telling the truth. He was scared shitless when he fought that asshole. Fuck you, you lousy liar! I'll sting your motherfucking ass! Don't believe him, Master! Don't believe him! Shut up! I'll give you a chance to prove your loyalty. You two fight each other to the death. Then the winner will continue to be my servant. Now, go on and get in the ring. And kill for losing. getting up. Good. Good, my son. Very good. You're a good fighter. I'll let you receive the glory of being the sacrifice to Satan. <laughs> no, master. No. You have to keep your promise. Don't. Don't. Anyone home? Hello, can you hear me? Oh, how do you do? Oh. 
Are you Mrs. Ho? Mm. I understand you're looking for a maid. This way. This will be your room. Uh, I'll show you the kitchen. Today. Who are you? Oh, I'm a guest. Sorry, I didn't know that you were here. I'm very thirsty. Could I have something to drink? Yeah. Morning. Why are you sitting in another place? This is for your lady guest. Guest? Oh, yes, I saw her last night. Who did you see? I don't know who she is. She said she was your guest. I saw her last night when I went into the bathroom. Huh? I didn't know someone was already in there when I went to take a bath last night. She was nice to me and didn't seem to mind the intrusion at all. She said hello to me. Later, when I was in the kitchen, she asked me for a drink. I poured her a glass of soda, but when I turned back, she'd gone. It was quite late at night, so I assumed she was spending the night here. That's so all. Morning... Take it away. Just forget. Oh.
Mrs. Ho? Mrs. Ho? We have visitors. Who are they? Real estate agents. They want to take some photographs of the house and grounds, too. They said that Mr. Ho had hired them. Tell them to do as they want. Yes, that's a good angle. Now let's get the uh, roof line framed in the trees. It'll look great. Right. Now one of the gardens, uh, from about here. Yes. too weak to help you. My brother Sean, he can help you. He's a good fighter and he's very strong as well. But he couldn't care less. All he cares for is his own boxing tournament. Besides, I'm not too impressed with his horrible violent trend. Sophia, you can't blame him. Everybody is selfish. Everyone has his dreams. The boxing tournament is very important to him. Kickboxing is his life, you understand? His career. Do you know why the world has become such a wicked place? It's because of people like your brother, people who only care about themselves, who want to achieve their own goals by whatever means they can. Isn't it the world created by your God? Why doesn't he find a solution for them? Sophia, listen, let me talk to my brother. He has a good heart. I think he will help. I really hope so. Sean. I have to talk to you. Give me a break. You know how important this tournament is to me. And you. You get away from this crazy nun. You're my only family. I don't want anything to happen to you. Sean, listen to me, please. Her life is threatened by the devil. What if she told us it's true? Sean, then we have to help her. If it's true, then don't go looking for trouble, all right? Unless you're strong enough. <coughs> help her! Help her, for God's sake! Sean, you have to help her! Okay. Over there! Yeah.
you looking for me? Hmm. You know, we've got the girl. something wrong. Let's go. to that room. No, madam, I can't. I said, give it to me.
everything is all right. You must have been daydreaming. All right, let's go now. Here. Join you later.
Mrs. Ho's delusions are merely due to nervous tension. She is only suffering from what we call neurasthenia. Even getting married or some such other change, a sudden change in her lifestyle could cause these delusions. Oh, just let her take some good rest and she'll recover soon. Don't you worry. Mm. Robert, I think you'd better cancel this trip. But I'm going to meet a very important client. I can't cancel it now. You look after Eileen, okay? A young lady will be coming here to see me at about four o'clock. Bring her in here and I'll check Certainly. her in. Certainly. Okay, I've still got a few hours to kill. Do you have any sites you'd recommend? Well, actually, anywhere around the hotel would be just fine. Oh, right, okay. You. Well, look no further. I'm right here and ready for anything. <laughs> hmm. I could take a bath.
Sit down, please. We are sorry that we had to trouble you. All right, now, we did find her diary. There are numerous entries referring to suicide. And the examination of the forensic pathologist does bear this out. We have concluded that you were in no way responsible for her death. Hey, Pa! Hey, Pa! 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 I want to sleep with Auntie Eileen. What's that? I haven't seen her in a long time, and she doesn't snore. Okay. Auntie Eileen, can I sleep in here with you, huh? Sure, come on. <laughs> I thought you were already sleeping. Mm -mm. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Good night. May the power of Lucifer fill your mind and body. May the power of Lucifer fill your mind and body. May the power of Lucifer fill your mind and body. May the power of Lucifer fill your mind and body. May the power of Lucifer fill your mind and body. May the power of Lucifer fill your mind and body. <laughs> What am I going to do? Even the doctor doesn't really know what's wrong with her. It's no ordinary illness. Yeah, I know what you mean. And it's pretty serious, you know. Yeah, that's right. And the doctor said the symptoms could recur at any time. Hey, is it possible that she's possessed? Possessed? 
Yeah, evil spirits and demons and all that. You know, you better watch her carefully. Jimmy, this is Sean. Mm -hmm. He's been helping me with my investigation. The last time, you refused to tell me how to conquer Lucifer. But this time, you must help us. Lucifer is out for us, and we must finish him off first. Dangerous business. Hey, pal, let me tell you something. The most dangerous thing is to sit here and do nothing, waiting for the enemy to come and get us. Now. Tell me how you get rid of Lucifer. Sure. If you're determined to do so, I'll show you how. I'll give you a map which will show you the way to Lucifer's den. But you can't defeat Lucifer himself by using physical violence alone. Lucifer has stored his life force in some containers. Only by destroying those containers can Lucifer be exterminated once and for all. Ah, Mr. Ho, I've been trying to contact you. What's up? Uh, you remember two weeks ago, you asked me to try and find a buyer for your house. Yes, sir. Uh, Let's sit down uh, and oh. talk. Uh, Mr. Ho, I was able to find you an interested buyer. Uh, he was happy with the location and the size. He even felt the price was right. Yeah. But when he saw the pictures, he got cold feet and pulled out of the deal. Why would he withdraw his offer? Oh, uh, Mr. Ho, you'd better take a look at the pictures yourself now. Uh, I think you'll see why the man pulled out. These pictures are terrible. What? No wonder the buyer isn't interested. Uh, it's not our fault. We only shot whatever was there. Don't you try to excuse yourselves from your responsibility. Well, my partner's a renowned photographer. He knows how to take a picture. <laughs> get out. How's that? I know all your tricks. You just want to get the price down. Now get out. I've never been spoken to like this in all my years in business. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Philistine. Eileen, I'm so worried about your health. I'm trying to figure out how I can help you. Don't worry, I feel fine now. Next weekend, let's take a trip together so we can relax. Mm. This is Miss Young. She took care of Robert's ex-wife from the time she was born until the day she died. I see. 
Miss Young, do you think you can tell me something about the way she died? Tell me everything that you can remember. Actually, her death was quite unexpected. She was so healthy, full of life, and optimistic. But one night last summer, she went to bed as usual. Next morning, she was dead and gone. Leave me alone. <laughs> what about the funeral? Was there something strange? Only Mr. Ho and I were there. He forbade anyone to look at her body. Mistress! <laughs> Mistress! <laughs> Why did you leave the world so soon? <laughs> such a pretty and young girl. I never knew she was suffering from any illness. I, I still don't know what she died of, really. Can you tell me where her body was buried? Uh, she's buried in the public cemetery. We are gathered together, and we call upon the spirit of Mrs. Lisa Ho, who died on the 14th day of July last year. We call upon her to cross back over the Great Divide and communicate with us living beings for only a little while. Know that we are your friends and that we have absolutely no intention of doing any harm at all to your spirit. If you are bearing any grudge or have anything to tell us, please do so now. We'll do anything we can to help your soul rest in peace. We only ask that you talk to us and tell us what you want. our best to help you. Talk to us. Talk to us. Tell us who you are. My name is, my name is Lisa, wife of Robert Ho. Tell us now exactly how you died last summer. I, I was killed. Robert killed me. So do you mean that you were murdered? I was murdered, yes. I was murdered. He beat me and he beat me again. And then he strangled me. And then he buried my body in the garden. I can never, never rest in peace. I can't rest in peace. Help me. Oh, help me. Help me. Help me now. I beg you. Help my soul. I can't rest in peace in that cursed soil. No. Please, please help. Master, Sean always gets in our way. I want to teach him a lesson. Ah. He's a damn good fighter. Yeah, yeah, he is good. But I'm better. You just give me a chance. I'll show you who's the best fighter. Good, good. I leave him to you. And remember, now you don't let me down. 
I won't. I never will. Tell me honestly, do you really love me? You used to be so good, Robert. You did love me. Now I don't know. You've completely changed. It seems like you're totally indifferent to me. I have to know why you're acting so cold these days. Tell me the truth. Are you having a secret affair with another woman? I'm getting tired of your damn nonsense. You keep nagging me day and night. You're driving me crazy. I'll keep on nagging, too, until you talk to me. I'm your wife, and I have a right to know what my husband is doing, don't quiet I? Quiet down! I won't quiet down! I realize now why you really married me. You don't care about love, you just want my money. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Now you're showing your true colors. Come on, beat me. Beat me to death if you dare. Come on, beat me. Ah, ah, come on. I won't spare you if I die. I won't let you live. No. Beat me, come on. Ah, no. ah, 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 come on. I'll take care of Lucifer's two fucking servants. You wait here. I'll be back. Okay. You take care. <laughs> Thank you. 
time for you. Get you too. Fuck. I don't believe what that old ghost said.
You can't get away. I've called the police and they'll be coming for you soon. You'll pay for what you've done. Don't deny it. We know everything.
Let the girl go! Help me, Sean! This is between me and you now! You'll pay for my brother! She's ours. She knows too much. Sean! I know as much as she does. Why don't you kill me first, huh?
want to play a little game with me? I played your game. Now you play mine. <clears throat> Ready? You've still lost. I still got the girl. Ah! 